Pass number one was a coffee pot. <laughs> coffee pot? Coffee pot is just a nickname for an engine with a boiler that points up in the air. Like those things people make coffee in. The coffee pot engines used to look after one of the branch lines, but they don't work there now. Although, I think the last one might still be on the siding. Oh, you must be the new number one. I'm Thomas. Well, look after the branch line, Thomas, and wear that number with pride. Don't worry, Mr. Coffee Pot. I will. You can count on me. But, but uh, I'm not Mr. Coffee Pot. My name is Glenn. <laughs> the Christmas Coffee Pot. It was nearly Christmas, and Marion, the railway steam shovel, was working on Thomas's branch line. Oh, Christmas is such a magical time of the year. Who knows what I might dig up? <laughs> Tinsel and Christmas lights or oh, buried presents. Marion had been sent to clear a disused siding to make room for a new warehouse. Hey, be careful. You nearly hit me. <laughs> What are you thinking? You must have imagined that voice, Marion. Quite right. There is no such thing as a talking tree. I'm not really a talking... Oh, Mr. Tree! I'm so sorry, I nearly hit you. Are you okay? I've never met a talking tree before. Yeah. Not to mention a talking Christmas tree. This really is very magical. Very, very magical. Very, 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 very... But... Don't worry, I'm not going to dig you up. Not now I know you're a real talking Christmas tree. Certainly not. No, no, no. I'll go and dig somewhere else. Oh, and I promise I won't bother you anymore. You won't even know I'm here. Oh. But Marion couldn't leave her new friend alone for long. Mr. Christmas Tree, do you want to play? Guess what's in my shovel? Oh, what? What? Oh, you again. Sorry, did I wake you up? I'm so sorry. It was brought just one way. In my shovel. But never mind, I'll just go back to what I was doing and I'll, I'll dig more quietly from now on. <laughs> Thomas! 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 believe it myself. It's magical. It's incredible. It's a talking Christmas tree. <laughs> You're right, dear. We don't believe you. <laughs> I know. You must come and have a look. Follow me. Back this way. I'm sorry, Marion. We have passengers to deliver. <laughs> oh, it's... Oh. Ooh, Toby! something wonderful to show you. It wouldn't be a talking tree, would it? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, you don't believe me either. Later at Knapford, everyone was talking about Marion. Do you think Marion really saw a talking Christmas tree? I don't know, but she is funny. I know you all think I imagined my talking Christmas tree, but I've come to see someone who I know will listen to me, Sir Topham Hatt. Maybe Marion really did find something. Thomas's next train wasn't due for a while, so he decided to go and see for himself. <laughs> His driver and fireman cleared away the branches, and suddenly, Thomas saw what Marion had found. Oh, you're the coffee pot engine I replaced all those years ago. But you were on a siding near Farquhar Station last time I saw you. 
I was shunted here, there and everywhere before everyone finally forgot about me. I'm sorry, I forgot you. Uh, Glenn. My name's Glenn. And you're Thomas, aren't you? How are you doing?